This boy had to move to a school full of bad boys. The school's board was just stepped on by this classmate, who thought he was easy to deal with. Both of them were talking back to each other, then he took a pen in his hand to prepare a notebook with this name. He also had a painful and painful past. So he had to move to this school when he was a teenager. This handsome boy with white skin was a senior student. He had a very high-level Vipro study achievement. An independent personality and liked loneliness, but smart people are often lonely. In class, he only put his face in the book and wrote in each line. Did not have any conversation or jokes with anyone, because he was in a different position from the other, brotherly, friends. Zian Siyun is the name of this handsome boy. In a math competition organized by the school, Siyun was excellently awarded the gold medal, when the teacher gave him a compliment. He still showed all his calm and calmness, because this is just a normal thing in that district, and his friend Youngbin received the bronze medal, he showed all his enthusiasm and enthusiasm to the fullest. For this friend Youngbin, Siyun has been a thorn in his eye for a long time. Youngbin is the headliner for violence in class. He and his classmates always find ways to bully the more smart and weak students. To find a laugh for his failed life and his friends in the other society. When he saw Siyun seemed to be gentle as a piece of cake, he immediately threw a slipper straight at Siyun. Then he told Siyun that it was because he had a mistake, he apologized. Siyun was very calm and replied back with a careful, I'm sorry. This handsome boy immediately came to talk to Siyun. But Siyun still showed all his calmness, cold face like ice but not rigid. Although the name, Big Brother, Youngbin constantly challenged. When both of them prepared for Inova with each other, a battle emerged unexpectedly. There was a name holding the ball of the school's football team in the classroom, then asked which guy with a strange, short head is Soho, when they knew this student's face. The name holding the head immediately asked, how dare you to disperse my flag. Soho just woke up but his face was still a handsome boy in grade 7. He immediately said that little thing, just text me to go eat. But that little thing is not my style, because I say the most dangerous handsome boy is when he knows he is beautiful. Seeing Soho still expressed very much that he did not need a life without eating and drinking. The name, Big Brother, immediately ordered three to four boys to rush up to beat Soho in a match. They held the ball of the ball on their hands and beat Soho on the road. The boy initially just avoided their punches. But then Soho used his bare hands and repeatedly kicked each boy. Soho then grabbed the name holding the head, making all his boys start to stumble. The name holding the head continued to scream, showing that he was fine, but deep inside his eyes was the sea. When Soho was released, the name holding the head did not know where to turn, but continued to use the ball to attack Soho. Feeling this name was too much, limited the person introduced. Soho immediately made a noise that made him choke his hand, then told the boys to bring your big brother to the medical room. If you dare to say your brother's name, don't ask why the sea is salty again. While all the classmates were watching Soho's match of the Battle of the Spotlight, Siyun was still calm and comfortable in the place where the students were studying. When he saw that he had made Siyun's head of the pen, Soho still politely apologized. Siyun said, what are you doing in the class like that? The handsome, tall, strong boy just smiled and walked away. This Soho student was trained to become a professional MMA fighter. Although he has six friends. With martial arts, he is a gangster, but Soho never used his strength to bully others. Even his big brother, Young Bin, and his younger brother also had to respect Soho's legs to some extent. That morning, in Siyun's class, a student named Buck entered. He is OBM COOK, who has just transferred to this school to enroll. Looking at the new name, he is very knowledgeable and arrogant. So his name Youngbin and his younger brother show interest. Immediately came to approach this ugly boy. When he saw this friend, OBM COOK, he seemed very easy to flirt. Youngbin immediately prepared to fight for the rights of the weak. To convince this new bee to become his slave. At this moment, Siyun appeared and said, avoid your father's textbook. Youngbin immediately said, I don't like that, what are you doing? Siyun immediately held a pen in his hand and continued, I said you avoided the hole in the ear of the tree, but you didn't listen. When he saw the weak like to bully him, he intended to attack him, then Siyun immediately turned on his pen. At this moment, Soho spoke up to relieve the tension. Soho said, you guys shut up and let me sleep. The other boy heard it, but he did not talk to Siyun anymore. The next day, Youngbin found a way to call the new student to come out and talk privately. Let's talk to this student. OBM COOK seems to have transferred to this school, because he was bullied in the old school, right? I promise to keep this secret for you, but now you have to do me a favor. Youngbin immediately gave BM COOK a piece of paper. Then, when he entered the class, the whole class was preparing to do the test for the exam at school. Youngbin immediately called out to BM COOK, act. BM COOK immediately hit Siyun's neck, and soon after, he heard. When Siyun turned around, BM COOK immediately explained that there was a needle that had just been wrapped around his neck. Siyun heard it, but she ignored it and continued to do the test. But now the piece of paper that Youngbin had just given BM COOK, 
Now it was on Si Yun's pretty little neck. When she was concentrating on doing the test, Si Yun suddenly felt dizzy. Her eyes were dizzy, her face was dazed, she could not stand it anymore. Si Yun immediately stood up, then went to the toilet with a mess. Si Yun washed her face to try to calm her body down, then she turned around and went back to the room. When she was able to calm down a bit, Si Yun immediately took a piece of paper off her neck. Then she used her hands to tap her face many times until her face turned red to regain consciousness. When she asked, what's wrong? Si Yun said, nothing. Then she continued to do the test. When the whole class saw the result of the test, Si Yun knew she had not completed the test well. So he immediately hit the table hard, making the whole class look at him. Si Yun looked at BMCOOK and saw this boy looking towards Young Bin. Si Yun was extremely angry, stood up, thought that talking to the god of the who unexpectedly met the guy like Si Yun was a bit tired. He hurriedly walked towards Young Bin. Si Yun grabbed a book and then slapped Young Bin's face. He was as cold as ice, and stabbed the book in the hand of Young Bin's younger brother. Then he repeatedly slapped this kid's face. He conveniently took a blanket and wrapped it around Young Bin's head. So Si Yun slapped his face with this slap in front of the fear of the classmates. When the blanket began to turn red, Si Yun stopped. When he was going to use the kickboard named Young Bin once again for the test, Suho approached Si Yun and said, It's just right, I have to introduce you. Then Suho laughed a crazy blood in his body and lost control. He threw a book and then took the chair to attack Suho. But nothing happened to his quick friend. Si Yun was immediately slapped by Suho. When Si Yun was going to take the chair to attack Suho again, the head teacher appeared to prevent the fight. Suho immediately said, I'm just trying to keep two Inova together. Then he told Si Yun to apologize to the teacher. Everyone in the class now looked at Si Yun with a lost look on their faces. The head teacher then led Si Yun to the hospital to visit the big brother Young Bin. When he entered the room, the mother of Young Bin was very angry and asked Si Yun, where is your mother? Why didn't you come here to meet me? Si Yun immediately said, I don't have a mother. Young Bin's mother showed a frowning face and said, I will put your neck in the middle of the day. Si Yun immediately took out a piece of the blanket and said in a low voice, Young Bin put this thing on my neck and this is the magic. Young Bin immediately shouted back and said, Do you have any evidence? Si Yun calmly asked, Is this your backpack? When he took out the backpack, there was a box of magic inside. The mother looked at her and her mouth was even rounder than the letter O. The head teacher then explained to her, Now this is no longer a matter of violence. Maybe it's okay for Young Bin to transfer to another school and continue to study. But it's better to be quiet than to just be quiet and let everything go. Young Bin's name heard this story was extremely resentful of Si Yun. The night before he was gathering with his friends at a bar. This little boy was handed a box of drugs by his brother named Se -ok. The name of the boss Young Bin asked his brother, if this piece of the blanket comes out, what will happen to you? The other brother said he would be empty, sleepy, and numb there. Young Bin's name heard it, then planned to harm. To undermine the results of his good friend Si Yun's exam. Si Yun now stepped into the house and saw his father just going to work, turned away, when he saw his son was injured. The father asked about it, but Si Yun said the child was only in the gym. Si Yun's father is a professional judo coach and has attended the Olympics. When Si Yun was young, his father had to play often away from home, so Si Yun's parents constantly quarreled and divorced right after. Si Yun is now living with his father, but his father is quite heartless because he often goes to far away training, so Si Yun often has to stay at home alone and take care of himself. The next day, in class, all the friends now look at Si Yun, with eyes full of fear and anxiety. Two younger brothers named Young Bin came in and said, The son of a bitch, he went to school, he didn't meet the school gate, he didn't come back. Yesterday I was always a rival, so I was just stabbed by you, but if I hit you, I guess that's it. Si Yun looked straight at them and said, Now solve it, because my time is gold. Then he took these two names out to solve the mystery. All the students in the class were very curious about the upcoming martial arts match, so they followed. Si Yun took the two names of the boy to the toilet. Then he gently went to the door and locked it, always blocking the toilet door. Si Yun took a pen in her pocket and opened the pen. The other two saw the coldness and the eyes full of anger of Si Yun, then saw this candy store was wrong. Si Yun went to the front, just went and pressed the pen. The other two saw this scene, but the body automatically just backed away. But Si Yun then said, stop it, come here, it's enough to mix the blood and help me. Then he put the pen in his bag and walked out. Si Yun stepped out, surrounded by people. Si Yun's face was full of emotion. We are close to each other, right? Then the boy gently walked away. All the friends in the class now look at Si Yun. He may now be in a different position, unlike the first days of enrollment. The name of his family, Say OK, now holds a black bag and goes to the hospital to visit Yang Bin. This poor boy, who has not yet eaten, hurriedly asked his brother to take care of Si Yun. The brother said, now you go, 
I will take care of that guy for you. After a while, he also opened his mouth to beg his brother, say okay. That evening, Siyun sat in the bus to go home after school. When the bus stopped at red light, Siyun heard the sound of a car outside. When he looked out, he saw his brother Suho was driving a shipper and looking for a life. After greeting each other, Siyak immediately apologized to Suho for using the chair to attack him yesterday. Suho immediately took the opportunity to ask Siyun to give him a ride. Then he continued his daily work. The next day, Yangbin with his brother's name and many other boys sat outside the waiting line to deal with Siyun. Siyun stepped out and was blocked by his friend's name Yangbin. He still did not hesitate to come and look straight at Yangbin's name. When Siyun walked away, his brother's name Yangbin stopped him. He slapped Siyun with a blow that made him fall. All the students in the school were watching from afar, but no one dared to do anything. Siyun was led by them. His friend, Biem Suk, saw this and immediately ran to Suho. Seeing him lying in bed in class, Biem Suk immediately told Suho. Yang Bin has driven Siyun away. Heard you have a shell, but you go and help him. Suho immediately said he called the teacher to take the lead, I have to go do more. Biem Suk immediately said that I will pay for double work for you. This life is full of decisions, so Soho immediately returned with a full face. At first, he thanked the guest and told Biem Suk to go do the mission, the guest. Soho told his new classmate to come on his delivery code to find Siyun. His brother's name is now ready to give Siyun a fight. He told the girls in the group to go out to watch so they could punish Siyun properly. Yang Bin's brother's name asked his brother to tear his hand so he could never learn anything again. Siyun now observed and immediately evaluated the number and position of each enemy. He looked at the objects around and immediately drew a pen to attack his first brother's name. When he was saved, Siyun immediately used his remaining hand. He pulled out a hard object in his pocket and hit this name once. Siyun grabbed a bamboo stick and hit his head. Then he threw the rest of the names into the face. Siyun kicked a box into the foot of Yang Bin's name. Then he kicked five to six names of his brother's group. The two classmates followed the same name Yang Bin, just shaking standing still. We couldn't hear, couldn't see. When Siyun walked away, his brother's name rushed to attack directly. He pushed Siyun up and threw her down like a dish. Yang Bin took the opportunity to run and kicked, kicking Siyun's person continuously. Then he called the boy in the class to hold his hand. For me, when I controlled Siyun, the name Yang Bin immediately stepped on Siyun's hand. Then just like that, he leaned on his uncle's hand. Ah, the boy was watching the outside, he saw a green ball running past. Suho ran to kick the neck of the boy's name and then the name Yang Bin. Then he turned the unimaginative person into the middle school friend. Suho put his hand out to pull Siyun up. Tell me the name Yang Bin is here. When Suho led Siyun away, he was surprised that his brother immediately ran to attack from behind. He hugged Suho and fell to the ground, a painful kick. Both of them now hit each other continuously, eating pieces. But the boy they fell down was Suho, then hit the face of the handsome boy in grade 7. Seeing Suho was disfigured, Yang Bin immediately ordered the two boys to attack Siyun. Siyun was severely injured but then was surrounded by three men and kicked continuously. Suho now woke up and hit the boy in the class several times. He temporarily strangled this boy. When he saw Yang Bin's name holding a crystal ball, he went to Siyun's place. Suho was going to run to save Siyun, but was controlled by the boy in the class. Yang Bin's name was holding a bottle to hit Siyun's head, then his friend Biem Suk appeared and fell down. Suho walked up and said, hit a boy, you guys don't feel ashamed. If I were me, I would poke my head into that ball. It seems that your brother is ashamed of you. The brother then walked away because his name was called to hand over the job. Siyun told Yang Bin to stop going. Then the three men, with a loud voice, pulled each other out. When they got out, Suho asked Siyun and his friend Biem Suk to get on the car to take their father to a very delicious restaurant nearby. When they arrived at the restaurant, everyone who had a piece of meat was Suho's assistant. It's a surprise, isn't it? He was so sorry that the owner was late. Then he told his two classmates to help him finish the job. If you want to eat something, eat it. Siyun then helped clean the house, and Biem Suk helped wash the dishes. A moment later, Siyun asked Suho, you do so many jobs like that, aren't you tired? Suho immediately said, what are these three things for? I even helped people move their houses at the end of the week. Siyun now knows why this friend of his, when he entered the class, he was all sleepy and fell on the table. He also admired Suho for his perseverance. Then when the three of them sat down to eat barbecue together, they were very happy. Biem Suk now blames Siyun for being threatened by the driver, and he doesn't know what that piece of meat is. Siyun also accepted to ignore everything. Soho's friend went to the table and made a big piece of meat for him to eat. When he saw Siyun still expressing coldness and distance, Soho immediately made a big piece of meat for Siyun to eat, but this time he asked him to wash his hands. Soho immediately said, eat it, don't worry, stay alive for a long time. Then he always put a big piece of meat in Siyun's mouth. The three of them are now getting closer. 
Bim Suk's friend, on his way home, kept looking at Suho's pictures on Instagram. Then he searched for a message, Suho, can you follow my Instagram? But Bim Suk thought and decided to delete it and not send this message, as if it were a normal reading. The brother of Seo Kei now met his boss, Jisoo, when he saw the boy on his face crying. This Jisoo's name immediately asked what had happened. The girl immediately said that Seo Kei's brother had been beaten. So they went out to fight with the other students. The boss immediately said that, then asked for 10 more times. He hit Seo Kei's stomach continuously. Then he hit Seo Kei's brother in the shoulder. The three of them are now getting closer. Soho asked the other members of the PA to bleed, his brain was so smart. Soho said, Siyun, forget about studying and play with the ball. Siyun also picked up the ball and used all the knowledge, physics and math to the balls on the board. Then he took the ball and did the vipro posture. Siyun scored the first goal, then Soho won two consecutive goals. When Siyun was about to go to the center to study, Soho stopped, then challenged Siyun with another decisive goal. Whoever loses will pay for the three of them to eat black bean noodles. So then all three of them left the noodle shop and Soho was the one who had to pay. Feeling too black, Soho invited both of them to drink beer to get rid of bad luck. But Siyun told him to go home, so Soho again played the role of Seo Kei, happily drinking. Then the name of Seo Kei's brother is now a burden. Because he was just beaten by the name of the leader, he promised his brother, Young Bin, to talk even the leader Jisoo was there. This leader is planning to make the other 73 students a big debt. Siyun entered the supermarket to get the tree, although in his head he only saw clouds. Then he saw a girl using a hoe to plant a bunch of lipstick here. This girl is the younger sister of Seo Kei, who once beat him. Her name is Young Yi, who quickly beat Siyun and then turned into a couple. She looks like a little girl to be safe outside without being discovered. When she left the store, Siyun turned on the umbrella and walked away. This girl immediately followed and continued to beat Siyun to use the umbrella. Then she took her boyfriend to a rice cake shop. To the restaurant, the girl boldly took Siyun's phone. This is my brother, so I will keep my phone number for him. Young Yi told Siyun, your liver is very big, very right, my king. My king is a bastard, I want this woman again. Siyun then praised this girl for this meal and the two said goodbye to each other to go home. The leader's name, Jisoo, is now tormenting a third grade student. Because his student borrowed money to play the black and red game, but then had no money to pay. The leader immediately said, in three days, if you don't tell your mother to pay me, I'll burn your house. This, Lukalaka, name is a student who is a, trap, to participate in his black and red game. Then he made a fuss so that the students had to sign huge debt papers when they wanted to borrow money from him. The next day, the boy, Ah Young Bin, came to the classroom to collect his stuff. Because he was not allowed to study at this school anymore, Han came to Siyun's face and said, you talk to me for a while, but you don't sound very sincere. Siyun immediately told him, I have nothing to say to you, but the name Ah Young Bin is always like this. Siyun was also very happy to help him pray. All four people went to the school's art room to talk. The name Ayangbin begged Siyun to meet a lawyer to declare that the might we type of that combination was not his. Then this King Khan also knelt down and cried and said, Please, I can't go to the renovation yard. Please help me, Mom, I only have myself. Belm Suk felt so sorry, so he immediately advised Siyun to help him give the statement this time. So Siyun also agreed to help the name Big Brother Ayangbin. All three students followed. There, Phi Taxi came to meet the lawyer of the name, Big Brother Ah Young Bin. Su Ho also drove on horseback to follow. Han led the whole gang down a secret tunnel. Su Ho warned, if you trick us, you're dead for sure. And as expected, Su Ho's prediction was like a magic calculator. This name led three soldiers to meet the Kong Du names waiting downstairs from the afternoon. The first name, Jisoo, led the gang to the three boys and said, because the three of you flew the car out of my house, I was broken to a very serious level. You guys bring the 15 million one settlement money here right now. Su Ho smiled lightly, then said, what did I touch your hand, man? Si Yun also asked the first name, Big Brother, if he had any evidence. The first name, Tian Denji, said to Si Yun, I used to give some of them to get out of the earth because of my debt. Then he put the knife in Su Ho's neck and said, follow me for three days. Until then, if you don't have money, you'll be a debtor borrowing money from me. He even snatched the knife in Su Ho's arm to warn. Then he led all the boys to leave. The girl, Yongi, looked at Siyun with helpless eyes and left. So the first name, Jisoo, led the gang of boys to ambush three students on every corner of the street. From school to the center of the school, then to the restaurant that Suho added was all there. Until Siyun came home, the Kongdu still followed her to the door. They followed them 24-7 every day. Siyun called the girl, Yongi, and then went out to meet. This girl, Yongi, also went to the coffee shop to meet Siyun. 
The boy immediately asked where the name, Kong Du, was. She immediately told him the name was, Jisoo. He gave us a job but to me he was a scum. He was ready to kill people for that money. You give him half the money. When si Yun asked if I didn't give it, how would it be? The girl immediately answered, destroyed, and will ruin the whole life like us. si Yun continued to ask if she had given the money, really? She heard this, she just kept silent. At this time, at home, Biem Suk took advantage of the time when his father was sleeping. The boy sneaked into his father's room and then looked for something worth. Then got a watch worth money. The next morning, Biem Suk took the two boys to a room. Then he raised 15 million won and said, give them all the end. This money, my father gave me, Suho expressed his doubt and asked, where did you get this money? Biem Suk also admitted that I had stolen my father's watch. After that, my father left me that watch. Si Yun immediately told Biem Suk, thank you, but I will take care of it myself. Suho immediately told Si Yun to report the police. The boy immediately gave out the illegal actions of the other gang. Then he told the story that the girl Young Yi told him. This girl said that the name of the leader Jisoo created a red and black website, and attracted a lot of students to participate, because just registering a member is rewarded. At first, he would give the new player a consecutive win with the amount of 10 million won, but then he would find a way to make the player lose that amount of money, because we say that there is no free meal in this world. That's why the player will go crazy and decide to withdraw the money. The name Jisoo got the information from the player, so he would find a way to approach them and give them some money to continue playing. But what do students have money for? So those kids will take their parents' property at home to bring to the tax office. That's why the kids will find every way to get their parents' money. Those who do not pay the debt are also forced to transfer the money to the account, so they become criminals and never dare to escape the name Jisoo. Si Yun told the two Jisoo friends to put the book and the account at where he lives. So all they need to do is to go to the police station and check. All three of them started to leave the school, when they saw the kids waiting outside. Suho told his two friends that he would go with them. He would give them their address. Remember to tell the police when you get there. Then Suho said goodbye to his two friends and went to meet the name Jisoo. The name Jisoo asked Suho, have you three gone to play together? Give me the money quickly, the boy said, I'll give you the money later. Let me know I'm good at studying at the top of this school. If you can fix your red and black website, you'll get double the money. Your brother's name is broken. He let me see your junk website. We need to deploy more features, introduce more players to spread the red and black wave all over the school. Now let's go to his office to make a cup of coffee. Can we discuss more carefully? The name Jisoo smiled and then asked Soho to get in the car with him. The girl, Yong Yi, asked permission to keep the name of the two remaining kids to take them to their place. The name Jisoo agreed, but he called the boy of the name Seok okay to get in the car with him. So did the boys who watched Suho go to their place. When they saw the two boys, Yong Yi ran to the place and read the address of the place of the name Jisoo. You will report the police to it. Jisoo texted Suho to check if they really took Suho there. At this time, Seok okay was worried, so he called a taxi. When Jisoo asked where he was going, Seok okay immediately said he would come to give them the money and end it. What if something happened to Suho? Then Seok okay took a taxi to the address just heard. Seong also ran to find a way to report the police named Seok okay to immediately ask what Yong Yi was doing. The girl immediately said she wanted to put the name Jisoo in jail. We can't live like this forever. I don't want that either. Suho was then taken to their cell. Suho immediately turned on the recording on his watch and then deliberately praised the blue window. Then he pressed the recording for Seong. The name Jisoo led Suho into the house. When sitting down to talk to each other, the name Jisoo immediately asked Suho to bring his phone out. The boy immediately said, I am a very important person in keeping personal information secret. Suddenly, the name Jisoo's name was on the back, hit once on the head, making Suho fall. The name Jisoo continued to hold the collar for the boy a few more times. Then he took Suho's phone and found out that the police were approaching the house with this blue door. He was angry and immediately hit Suho once, making him unconscious. Just then, Seok okay sat down to take a taxi to the place. Then he also found the house with the blue door. When he just opened the door, he met the name Jisoo and Suho were also given a collar on the shoulder. Seok okay immediately took out the money and asked the name Jisoo to release his friend. But then he was immediately stabbed in the neck, Seok okay then ran away. Han caught Seok okay on the car and collected all the evidence of the crime on the car and drove away. Then, hearing the police's cry, they immediately drove away. At this time, Siyun sat in the police car and went to their den. When arriving at the police station, the door of the house was locked, but no one opened the door. The police began to doubt what Siyun had announced to them was all lies. The police told the boy, we have no warrant and can't do anything with the photos you gave. The police then got in the car and left, 
Si Yun went to the side of the house and climbed the wall to enter this house. When getting on the side, Si Yun used a stick to break the glass door, then used his hand to open the lock to put it in a room. Then he saw a blood stain under the brick. Si Yun immediately called Soho but could not contact him. Then he saw a metal clip with a door open. On the car, the name Jisoo held the phone for Seok okay and asked him to bring the little boy, Young Yi, to meet Han. If not, I will shoot your little boy right away. Seok okay immediately heard and told Young Yi to go a little and come back right away. Take the card and rent a place for a few days, don't follow him. Just then, Young Yi received a call from Si Yoon's boyfriend, saying, I'm at the den you pointed out, but I didn't find anything here. It seems they have taken Soho away. The girl immediately asked Si Yoon to download a location app and share her location with him. Now you just need to follow me. You must bring the police there or we're all dead. Young Yi followed and told Seok okay to let her follow him. Then Si Yoon received a text from the girl, Young Yi, asking her boyfriend to come to a park because Soho might be there. Si Yoon ran to the park with all three legs that Young Yi had texted. Seok okay and Young Yi went to the park to find the name Jisoo. He opened the locked door and went inside. Young Yi just went and shared the location with Si Yoon. Seok okay apologized to Young Yi for taking his sister on the path of the crime of the name Jisoo. Just then, Si Yoon also came to the park, leaving this den. Young Yi saw the car of the gangsters fighting outside. Si Yoon opened the door and went inside to call the police. Seok okay and Young Yi met the name Jisoo and asked Seok. Okay, I treat you badly, but you're going to do that to me. Young Yi then slapped Seok okay on the face and hit him. When Young Yi said to stop, the name Jisoo said. It's because of you that Seok's skin has changed. Young Yi then told the boy to take him inside. Young Yi told the boy, you're only 14. Use a knife to cut Seok's skin off, you're too young to go to jail. Young Yi was held captive with Suho and BM Seok. Seok was going to use a knife to kill Suho, but Seok suddenly appeared and pushed him down. Seok called all the boys of the name Jisoo, stand still, or I'll kill you all. Then Seok okay and the name Jisoo fought a battle. Seok okay was hit by the name Jisoo, but then he fell down with the name Jisoo. Jisoo lay on the ground, immediately picked up the knife and kicked Seok okay out. Suddenly, the girl Young Yi held a hard object and hit Seok okay on the head. Then she picked up the knife, threatening the boys. Stand up, or I'll kill you all. Young Yi then went to the air and made the knife fall down. Young Yi told her, it's because of you that Seok's okay skin has changed. Young Yi was going to kill Seok. Okay. But suddenly he heard the police car horn, so he stopped. At this time, Si Yoon appeared and said, The police will come and they will sweep away the cars of the men below. Seok okay and the boys immediately ran away. Si Yoon came and smiled at her two friends. Not long after, the name holding the head suddenly led the boys back. He held Si Yoon's phone in his hand, turned on the police car horn and praised her, You're so smart. He broke the phone and told his boys to go ahead. Si Yoon and Jisoo were ferociously fighting the gang of gangsters. The name holding the head came to pick up the knife. Seok okay went out and told Young Yi and the boys, get out of here quickly. All three ran away, then saw the police appear, so they immediately ran away from the police. Si Yoon was now beaten by two gangsters. The name holding the head appeared and threw the knife at Si Yoon's cheek. Fortunately, the police appeared and pointed guns at all the gangsters. The name holding the head immediately called a boy to the police, then ran away to escape. Si Yoon immediately chased after the name holding the head, Jisoo. He ran for a while, thinking that no one would follow him, so he stopped. But suddenly, Si Yoon appeared. Immediately after that, he picked up a tree and went to fight with the name holding the head, but was knocked down by him. Immediately after that, he immediately took the knife out to prepare the sword. Suho came and said, let's start fighting. Suho now continuously dodged the knife stabbing of the name holding the head. Then the two boys locked the name holding the head. Suho was unable to use the knife of the name holding the head, but was then attacked by him very hard. Suho immediately took the rope out of his back and locked him up again. Then he was knocked down by him. Suho continued to fight with the name holding the head, then was hit on the face. Siyun held a brick and hit his leg. Suho immediately made a volley that knocked the name holding the head down. Unconsciously, Suho immediately asked Siyun, why do you dare to chase him alone? Siyun immediately said, you must have come there too. Suho called Siyun this guy. Then he dodged the name holding the head and dodged again. On the side of the girl, when he was running away, the bus pushed the two people out of the door. He was alone. He said to him, go away, I'm not involved in this case. The boy then pulled the man to run away. The police also appeared and pointed the gun at the bus. Then many police cars came and arrested all the gang members for rioting. The name holding the head stepped on the bus, then hit the bus's face, he immediately shouted. Then the bus hit his head hard on his face. The three boys now began to meet. 
A police officer came and asked Siyun and Biem, the bus, to come back to the scene to get a statement. When the police arrived, a man in a black vest appeared and spoke to the two boys. I've talked to the principal. They won't announce anything to the school or the family of the children, so you two take it as an innocence in this case. Then he called Siyun to go home. Siyun stood up and then returned to talk to this man. The name holding the head of Jisoo, the rest of them are not at fault. They were just threatened and used. Hopefully you will raise your hand with them, Siyun said and walked home. BM, the bus immediately asked the man not to tell his father about this, but he said no. Then he led BM, the bus, into the room to meet the name holding the head of Jisoo. The man told BM, the bus, on the day of the rally, you should return what this name did to you. The man in a vest immediately hit the name holding the head on the face to imitate BM, the bus. Then he guided the boy to go out to pick up the body. The name holding the head repeatedly sounded a challenge, making BM, the bus, extremely angry. Then the boy suddenly left. And the way you do it is to make a sound with a very angry face. Siyun stepped out and saw Yong Yi standing outside yelling at the police. The girl immediately asked the bus driver if he was okay. Siyun immediately said that he was being investigated but probably okay. Yong Yi also said that the kids had all disappeared. It seems that they have all gone home. Then Siyun led Yong Yi to the hospital to visit Soho. Siyun told Soho that BM, the bus father, had arranged everything smoothly. We will not be involved in this matter. Soho also said, it seems that his father is the chairman or something. His father's secretary also paid me for the hospital fee. Siyun immediately told BM, the bus father, that he was a member of the National Assembly. The three of them started to have a good talk. At BM, the bus father's house, at this time, BM, the bus father, now holds a stick to hit the goal post. He asked BM, the bus father, to lie down. Then this father said, why did I bring you back to raise you? It's true that there is no hope. Then the father held the stick and hit BM, the bus father. After BM, the bus father, came to school, his friends surrounded him. They asked if he and Siyun and Soho had caught the head of the fish head webpage. When the boy nodded, his friends began to admire. Then he asked Han, BM, the bus father, about the recent news. It's lunch time, the three boys are now sitting and eating together. BM, the bus father, immediately asked the two of his friends to go out to eat together this weekend. When hearing the two of them mention Yong Yi, BM, the bus father, immediately asked Yong Yi who he was. Then he also learned that it was the girl who hit the head of Jisoo the day before. When Siyun told Yong Yi that she was at Soho's house for a while, BM, the bus father, began to show a happy face. The next day, BM, the bus father, began to comb his hair, shave all the hair of his daughter, and prepare to go out to eat with his two friends. Then he took some money out of his three-gallon bag to beg for food. Then BM, the bus father, immediately accessed Soho's Instagram. Click on the follow list to see a picture of a girl. BM, the bus father, immediately clicked on it to see that it was Yong Yi's Instagram, with a lot of pictures taken by both of them. There are pictures that are so close that. BM, the bus father, saw the picture and his sad face was clearly visible. BM, the bus father, came to meet Soho and Yong Yi. The boy tried to talk to Soho, but Soho was distracted by Yong Yi's words, making BM, the bus father, feel lost. When he entered the cafe, Yong Yi also held his hand to find a seat. Then he asked Soho to sit next to him. BM, the bus father, looked very hot-tempered. Siyun went there and then came to talk very happily with Soho and Yong Yi. BM, the bus father, looked uncomfortable and felt like he was being bullied. The four people then went to sing karaoke when they saw Soho and Yong Yi singing very happily together. BM, the bus father, now felt very uncomfortable, so he went out to buy a drink. When he bought four cans of water, he saw a group of friends in the old school. So BM, the bus father, immediately ran away to avoid them. BM, the bus father, hid in a room and heard that they were calling him. But the boy found out that he had left his phone in the karaoke room. When he got to the karaoke room, he saw Yong Yi holding his phone. BM, the bus father, immediately turned off his phone and then turned off the call. When the call was called, the loud voice of Yong Yi shouted, Because you dared to catch my phone. Soho immediately stopped. Yong Yi also hurriedly left right after that. Soho immediately ran after Yong Yi to comfort his friends in the old school, and then went into the room and shouted at BM, the bus father. Siyun immediately spoke up to annoy this group of friends. Then they all left. The day after BM, the bus father, was sleeping on the table, a group of friends in the class were laughing and talking loudly to each other. BM, the bus father, shouted loudly and then asked his friends to shut up. When he saw his friend laughing at him, BM, the bus father, immediately came to him. Then Yong Yi always comforted this friend. Siyun immediately came to stop, but BM, the bus father, continued to shout. When Soho came to pat BM, the bus father's shoulder, he left, the boy again said, don't pat my shoulder anymore. Then he left alone. 
This made Soho and Siyun extremely surprised and turned out to be the group of friends they met yesterday at the karaoke shop. It was Lu who bullied BM, the bus father, in the old school. And Lu, this friend, now also continuously calls BM, the bus father. This made the boy have to turn off his phone. The next day, Siyun and Soho came home to find BM, the bus father. Because they called for a long time but still could not contact. BM, the bus father, invited both of them home. Soho stepped in and saw his friend's house very big, beautiful, so he went to explore everywhere. Then he saw a picture of BM, the bus father's family, so he immediately said, look at your family, so happy. BM, the bus father, immediately said, they are not my family. My father adopted me when he started as a wealthy politician. Adopting him is a way for him to enhance his image, the value of himself. Siyun then asked BM, the bus father, about the group of friends she met at the karaoke shop. BM, the bus father, now also told the two friends, I was once bullied by that friend when I was in the old school, and had to go to the hospital many times so I had to transfer to another school. BM, the bus father, also said after meeting at the karaoke shop, they kept calling me to make me hang out with them. Soho immediately asked, why did that guy do that to you? BM, the bus father, said, I only live in silence and humiliation, but they want to bully me to increase their position in the old school. Soho immediately told BM, the bus father, call those bastards, I will make them apologize to you. This friend was now singing karaoke together when he received a call from BM, the bus father. The two of them were excited and called BM, the bus father, to come and hang out. BM, the bus father, led the two friends to the karaoke room. BM, the bus father, strongly asked the name holding his head, I'm sorry. When this name came and repeatedly said the word, tomorrow. BM, the bus father, Soho immediately slapped him hard. Then he called this name, I'm sorry, in a loud voice. The name was all over his eyes and said, I'm sorry. BM, the bus father, immediately said, you don't apologize sincerely so I will beat you. The guy immediately slapped him hard. He didn't have the patience to answer back. BM, the bus father, slapped him hard and his eyes fell down. Soho immediately called this name, but BM, the bus father, was now starting to go crazy. He lost control and took a microphone below to prepare the name holding his head. A blow to the grass, but he was stopped again. Soho was also very surprised by BM, the bus father's overexcitement. Then he hugged his friend out of the karaoke room. Sian stayed and said, with all the bullying, don't contact BM, the bus father anymore. When he got out of BM, the bus father continued to use, enough, and asked Soho never to put his hand on his shoulder again. Why do you always tell me to do this and that? Why do you stop me from beating them? I'm your underclassman, aren't I? Soho heard this and was extremely angry and threw BM, the bus father's shirt into the wall. Sian immediately stopped the two of them. BM, the bus father, also left with a displeased face. Sian immediately followed him and asked BM, the bus father, what's wrong with you? You make me scared. BM, the bus father, said, I'm fine. Then he left. BM, the bus father, walked away and received calls from the bullying gang that had just fought. This gang also rushed to find BM, the bus father, to clear up what had just happened. The boy hurriedly ran away and met two of his classmates who used to be the younger brother of the boss, Yangbin. The bullying gang in the old school appeared, but when they saw the bigger, more powerful bullies, they began to move. The bullying gang shouted, BM, the bus father. The middle school classmates immediately followed and chased away the non-native bullying gang. Then they taught this bullying gang a lesson. When they saw the name, head, still sounded like, shame. BM, the bus father, immediately came to beat him. Then the crazy man took up the name, head. The bullying gang's middle school classmates' violence made BM, the bus father, more and more furious. So BM, the bus father, also found a new group of friends who could protect and improve his status. They then invited each other to the school to dance together. BM, the bus father, now made a pile of money and said, just play as you like. The gang admired him. Then they started following each other's Instagram. BM, the bus father, now also practices drinking to show his enthusiasm in front of his new friends. Then he accessed Soho's Instagram and decided to press the unfollow button. After a while of drinking, he also decided to press the unfollow button. Then he started to praise the girls for his friends. BM, the bus father, took a bottle of wine to his beautiful friend's table and praised the wine. The beautiful girl also took a bottle of wine and poured the wine on BM, the bus father. The guy, after filling up the glass, felt extremely drunk. The next day, BM, the bus father, came to class late because he was drunk from the last drinking party. Then he felt his head still shaking. Si Un immediately asked, do you drink? BM, the bus father, did not answer but went to the end of the class to talk to the two bullheads who had just met last night. BM, the bus father, talked to them with a full face, which made Si Un very surprised. When studying for the test, BM could not sit with Si Un in Soho but sat at the same table with two bullheads and talked very happily. Si Un immediately came and told BM, the bus father, to go out to talk. 
Si Yun asked, why are you so close to those two bullheads? BM, the bus father, expressed a very aggressive attitude and said, I do whatever I want, no matter what I do, the name Suho has always looked down on me, he only sees me as his subordinate, but suddenly Suho came behind his back and asked, did you just say bad things behind my back? BM, the bus father, immediately answered, so what? Then he walked away. That night, the name of the bullhead led BM, the bus father, to the dance hall, and then met the name of the boss, Young Bin. The name of the boss immediately introduced to BM, the bus father, his girlfriend at his new school. The same name is a famous English doctor. When the name Young Bin asked, do you quit playing with Si Yoon and Soho? Then BM, the bus father, immediately said, that Soho guy keeps thinking he's a king or something. Young Bin heard it very enthusiastically and said, if I ever get a new lesson from that jerk, we'll all start drinking together. At BM, the bus father, now he's more friendly with his new friends. The guy practices FIFA with his friends and then boasts about his achievements for his friends. When in class, BM, the bus father, always moves down to the bottom of the class to sit close to the two name of the bullhead. Si Yoon met the two name of the bullhead and said, don't use BM, the bus father, anymore. The money you two bought shoes for, you didn't play with it because BM, the bus father, gave it to you, did you? The name of the bullhead immediately said, I know what to do when it volunteers. Si Un turned around and stepped out, and met Soho standing in line. When in the school cafeteria, Soho told Si Un, don't pay any attention to BM, the bus father, anymore. But Si Un still wondered, why is BM, the bus father, playing with us again? Then the name of the bullhead in the class in a row led a group of friends with BM, the bus father, to go up. Then together, take the food without having to line up. Soho shouted, call them and ask. You guys don't line up like them, do you? Then the name of the bullhead fell to the ground. The group of friends immediately followed in line in order, but BM, the bus father, still stood there. Suho came and looked straight at the face of the guy who used to be his best friend and said, line up, BM, the bus father. This name immediately said, I don't like that, so Suho immediately threw him down. BM, the bus father, stood up and looked straight at Suho's face to shake his face, then left with his friends and left the afternoon out. BM, the bus father, asked the name of the bullhead, who can beat that bastard. I want to kill him. How much money do I have to spend? The name of the bullhead immediately reminded me of the name of the English martial artist who met last night. Then let BM, the bus father, watch the cool fighting videos of this martial artist. So the whole bunch went to the new school of the name of Yang Bin to negotiate with the English martial artist. BM, the bus father, immediately offered 1 million won, making the martial artist's name extremely excited. The appointment will be made on Soho's birthday and the fighting scenes will be broadcast live for quality. I went to Soho to continue working as a shipper. I walked into a building to deliver goods to the customers outside the name Yang Bin and two bullhead names. Conducted the system of disabling the fan in front of Soho's motorbike. The name BM, the bus father, was also there to observe everything. Soho then continued to drive and deliver goods, then discovered that his motorbike was no longer working. He had to constantly shake the front wheels. Then he fell down the road and lay down, lost his mind, standing from afar to observe, began to worry. Because he was afraid Soho had fallen asleep. Then they immediately left the scene. The name BM, the bus father, still stood still with an inescapable face. Soho then sat up and stared around. The next morning, Soho entered the late school class with a sore leg. Then he saw his friend BM, the bus father, looking at him with disdain. After the break, Soho immediately told him, don't look at me like that. I'm so tired, I'm going to faint. So Soho's birthday came. Eong and Sun enthusiastically prepared a birthday party for Soho at his son's house. The name of Soho's dancer at the dance hall named Biem. The bus father called to invite Soho to come, but he called forever but could not contact Soho, so he immediately thought of an idea. Eong was waiting for Soho to come home for a birthday party, then received a message from Biem. He asked Eong to go out and meet him a little bit, don't talk to Soho and Sun. I want to give you a gift, so Eong, please tell Sun to go to the convenience store a little bit. Then quickly ran outside. When he met the name BM, the bus father, Eong immediately apologized for listening to his phone call earlier. He told him to attend Soho's birthday party to make peace with both Soho and Sun. The name BM, the bus father, expressed a very arrogant attitude and said, I have no reason to make peace with him. Eong looked to the side and saw the name of Big Brother, Yangbin, and his friends already there. And the name BM, the bus father, smiled happily. Soho now also comes home and sits down to play games with Sun to wait for Eong to return. Because of hunger, Soho went to eat pizza. Sun called Eong but could not contact him. Then he saw Eong secretly sending a message to Soho. Sun immediately clicked on the message and saw Eong being arrested for the news. And the address of the house where the girl was being held. Sun immediately remembered and was very calm that BM, the bus father, had spread this story to avenge Soho. Sun immediately texted back, I will be there right away. 
Then she deleted these messages and turned off Soho's phone. Sun told Soho, I'm going out to the convenience store a little bit, while waiting for Soho to arrive at the name of Biem, Biong's phone, are you and Soho dating? He let you stay at his house and then found a job for you. You must have given him something and then you should be treated like that. Just then, Sun entered the house and then went to find the people who were arresting Eon. Just now, he just observed the items available here. Then he saw the gang of the head and Eon. Sun put a clay in her bag to prepare for the battle. The Zukan gang was very surprised when the person came here was Sun, not Soho. Sun immediately held Eon's hand and ran away. The name of the martial artist is now Biem Suk. Where's Soho? The Zukan gang chased the two down the stairs. Sun immediately raised the clay to resist Eon running away. Eon just ran and reported to the police. Sun ran into a floor and was knocked down by them. Sun stood up to fight the Zukan gang but was still beaten. The guy immediately looked at the pile of cement in front of him. Sun threw the clay towards Eong Bin and then quickly ran forward. Then threw a bag of cement into the eyes of the Zukan gang. When they were blinded, Sun immediately held the cement in her head. The Zukan gang fell. Sun held the tree and cut it up to target the enemy who killed Eong Bin. The name of the martial artist Quan An appeared to rescue. Sun held the tree and cut the attack of this name. Was quickly hit by the martial artist's close friend, making him fall. The name of the lost Eong Bin tried to pick up the tree and cut it up. But the name of Biem Suk immediately stopped and said Sun was not involved in this. Let him go, the name of Eong Bin immediately said that was your story, and I have a grudge against this guy. When he saw Biem Suk still stopping himself, the name of Eong Bin immediately came and said, We came here to help you, that bastard, he's your friend, so we're not your friends. Then the name of Eong Bin held the tree and cut it up, continuously attacking Sun's people. The name of Biem Suk also vowed to leave. The martial artist Kwan An then said to him, Choose the day to broadcast with Soho, but you have to pay for the loot today. Sun now continuously receives calls from the Zukan gang. Then the gang was reported that the police were coming, so they quickly ran away. The name of Eong Bin came and I laughed and said to Sun, You think you won, huh? Then he also rushed to run away. Sun woke up and saw that she was in the ambulance. At this time, the police were also taking Eong's statement. When the girl was going to tell the police everything, the guy immediately stopped Sun from talking to the police. I'm here alone and told Eong not to tell the story that happened just now to Soho. At home now, Soho just waits forever without seeing anyone come home to eat with me. Then he saw his phone hidden in the sofa chair. The guy, Belm, got out and got Sun's phone. Sun told him to stop going, don't touch Soho anymore. But this name quickly cut off the phone. Sun's father came to the hospital and asked Sun, if the children were fighting so they were injured, right? Sun immediately said that the child was only tripped down the stairs. The father immediately said that after the child was discharged, the father would transfer the school to the child. Sun did not agree and then told his father as if blaming him, since when did you care so much about me? The next morning, Soho went to school but did not see Sun anywhere. Even Belm, Suk, did not go to class. Soho called Sun but the boy did not pick up the phone. Sun texted Soho again that my family had something to do so I took a few days off from school. Soho immediately went to look for Eeyong to ask, Why didn't you come home yesterday? What happened? The girl just apologized to Soho, because she did not come home for the birthday party yesterday and did not say anything more. Soho came to the door of Sun's house but no one opened the door. Soho came to class and asked the two bears why Belm, Suk, did not go to school. This group immediately said, we don't know because we can't call him. Soho immediately said, if you can contact, remember to ask him to pay for the car repair for me. When the bear's name suddenly appeared, Soho gave him a slap, then said, if you don't pay for the car repair, I'll kill you too. The two bear heads pulled their friends to the roof to find a way to contact Belm, Suk. They were also very worried and wondered if Sun had really died. At this moment, Soho was also standing nearby and heard everything. When Soho was used to torture, the little bear's name also revealed everything and said, It was Belm, Sook, who was in charge of everything. He hired a British doctor to beat you, we just came there to see. Soho immediately ran to find Belm and asked Sun where she was in the hospital. The girl immediately said, He's in the hospital today. When Soho walked away, Belm said, Sun told me to keep it a secret from you, don't do anything stupid. Sun was taken to the hospital, and at that moment, someone knocked on the door. When he heard Soho's voice outside, the boy immediately asked, what's up? Soho said, let me get a glass of water. Then Sun put on a coat and opened the door. Soho saw a hand of Sun being bandaged. Soho calmly told Sun, tomorrow is the last exam period, you have to go to school. Then Soho left. Belm, Sook's father came home and was informed by the police. He rushed straight into the room and beat Belm, Sook like a child to the point of anger. Why do you keep putting the blame on me?
Why don't you shut up and live? I'll let you go to school, and then you can go to hell. Belm, Sook immediately went outside. The steward followed the barrier, but Belm, Sook still walked away. After that, a taxi driver immediately took a picture of this taxi. Sitting in the taxi, Belm, Sook checked his phone. He saw a lot of calls from the guys in the class and a message from Soho. When he opened the message, he saw a picture of the guys kneeling on the ground and a line of words. Listen to the phone, or I'll kill all your friends. Soho now went to see the big brother, Yi Yang Bin, and used the humiliating to torture and tell him, Call Belm, Sook, come here right now. This name said, I don't know where he is either. He just turned off his phone forever, Soho took a finger of this name and was about to break a phone. Soho immediately said, Where are you? Don't hide anymore. After the phone call, Soho immediately continued to work. And now, Belm, Sook called the martial artist and told him to kill Soho right away. Now I will transfer the money to you. Soho then went to the boxing practice room of this month's martial artist, Hao. Yi Ang Bin now called Si Yun and said, Soho knows everything. Now he doesn't go to work anymore, turn off the phone again. Is there a chance that he went to find the name Belm, Sook to count the numbers? Soho went to the practice room and saw the name of the martial artist with a lot of bare heads present here. Belm, Sook now went to face Soho. The boy immediately went to him and told him, if you want to do something, do it with me. Why did you touch the unreserved person? I'm sorry for making you unhappy. You should also go apologize to see Yoon and love one. Belm, Sook immediately said, I don't like to do that, what are you doing to me? Soho immediately slapped him with a blow and fell face down on the floor. The name of the martial artist, Soho, please come to the fight. Soho immediately asked Belm, did you pay for this martial artist to hurt me? You're such a poor guy. Soho told the martial artist to let me start a little bit. Then the boy flew to hit the bare heads in the classroom. Soho told the martial artist, don't you remember how I hit you up and down? The martial artist immediately called Soho to the fight. Then he announced in the video, today I will fight again with my 5th grade winner. The fight has also begun, both opponents start to fight. Then the martial artist hit Soho's leg once and then hit Soho's person once again. But then he was knocked down by Soho and was hit on the face. He kicked Soho's face and then stood up. The martial artist attacked and then hit him repeatedly, but Soho rebelled and then hit him unconsciously. The bear head outside immediately took his feet so that Soho fell. Inside the other bear head, he used a strong blow to Soho's face and made the boy lie motionless. The bastard Belm, Sook, stepped on the podium and asked, Who are you talking about? Who are you to look at me with those eyes? Dare to look down on me? Soho immediately said, You wake up, don't blame others anymore. This name immediately became crazy and hit Soho's person repeatedly. The outside eaters also jumped up to eat. The martial artist immediately turned off the live stream screen to torment Soho's bare head. The name Belm, Sook, and his friends just kept hitting Soho until they stopped. Then the secretary of the father of the artist came. He chased Belm, Sook, but Belm, Sook, still stood up to resist. The bare head checked, then saw Soho no longer breathing. The two bare heads were so scared that they ran away, but the secretary stopped them and said, You two are the last to hit him. If you go, it will be a big deal, just stay here, I'll take care of everything. The child, Belm, Sook, now sat down and woke up to call Soho to wake up. He just called, just shuddered, but the secretary told the martial artist to drag this name Belm, Sook out of the scene. This name just went and cried looking at Soho. Si Eun ran to the house and met the bare heads. Then met Lee Yong-yi also came here to look for Soho but did not see the boy anywhere. The secretary instructed the two bare heads to speak according to the words he had pointed out. He told the group of bulls to say that Soho came to practice together. But when he was resting, Soho suddenly passed out. The secretary also told the martial artist to delete all the video and cameras. The police then went to the place and took the statements of the bare heads and the martial artist, Kwan An. Soho was taken to the ambulance. The secretary took Soho's phone and texted Si Yun. I'm exercising a little bit, so I can't catch your phone. Belm, Sook, is now continued to be given by the father of the artist for the heavenly blows. My father slapped me in the face and said right after you came to the Philippines, I will send you a letter right away. The name Belm, Sook, immediately asked the British butler Soho now what happened, but the butler's name was silent. The next day, Si Eun and her friends were in the class doing the final exam, but did not see Soho and the name Belm, Sook. After doing the exam, Si Eun took her phone again. Then saw Lee Yong Yi called a lot of missed calls. The boy called Lee Yong Yi to know that Soho was unconscious in the hospital. Lee Yong Yi also said that someone had come to the whole account for free and then caught Soho's wife to sign a commitment. It must be related to the name Belm, Sook. Si Eun immediately went to the hospital to visit Soho, 
then met Soho's wife who was here taking care of him. Si Eun immediately shed tears when she saw her friend lying unconscious, having to breathe in a very serious condition. Lee Yong Yi then told Si Eun to go home so that Mai could do the exam again. The boy stood up and turned to look at Soho, then walked away with a pair of eyes full of tears. The secretary's name called Belm, Sook, to come to school with the artist to say goodbye to you and the teacher. The name Belm, Sook, immediately asked Soho now what happened. The secretary's name called Belm, Sook, still alive. If you want him to continue to live, you should listen to him. Si Eun went to a school and asked a student here if he knew which class Lee Yongbin was in. The name Belm, Sook, now went to class. He found all his friends looking at him with a pair of shy eyes. While he still did not understand what was happening, suddenly Si Eun grabbed his head and threw it into the board. Then threw it really hard. Si Eun asked where that name was. Take a pen and put it straight on the shoulder of the name Belm, Sook, and then say where that name is. Lee Yongbin's name immediately said that doctor's name in the practice room. Yesterday I was not there. I just watched the video that they sent me. This is not my business. Name Belm, Sook, is the one who owned everything. Then he put the video out. Si Eun called him again and took the phone of this evil kid. Si Eun then watched the video and saw the name Belm, Sook, hitting Soho's people. That smart name is now sitting in the car with his father, the full-time lawyer, to go to school. Unexpectedly, Lee Yongbin ran out and stopped the car. She immediately asked the name Belm, Sook, is it lucky that the kid made Soho go to this farm? Lee Yongbin was later chased away by two lawyers when he was scolded by his father as a scum of the line. Name Belm, Sook, immediately stepped out of the car and told Lee Yongbin, it's all because of you, so we just got that way. Before you came to us, we were very happy with each other. Then the father of the lawyer shouted, name Belm, Sook, was dragged up the car to go to school. Si Eun took a book alone to the practice room to find the name of the English martial artist. Si Eun attacked him from behind, but the martial artist immediately dodged and then hit Si Eun's face. Si Eun immediately remembered the movements that Soho had pointed out to be able to dodge accurately. He flew to hug him and then intended to use a kick as if he had accidentally been knocked down. The name of the martial artist, Nam, then hit Si Eun's face. The boy remembered the words that Soho had conveyed. Then Nam took the name of the martial artist, pulled the rope out, and tied the neck of the martial artist. But then this name also hit Si Eun flying far away. Nam ran to the top of the hill to hit Si Eun's face. The boy immediately dodged and then used a kick to hit the other name. The name of the martial artist fell and could not stand up again. This name is said to be because the name of Belm, Sook, repeatedly hit Soho's head. I only fight for power with it. I was wrong, can you stop? Si Eun immediately took the kick and then hit the eye of the foot of this name of the English martial artist. The father of the name Belm, Sook, went to school. The father of the lawyer stepped out and was welcomed by the entire teachers in the school as close as possible. Belm, Sook, then went to the classroom to do the exam with you. Si Eun went to school and then held the fire extinguisher in her hand. After opening the door, she stepped into the classroom, Si Eun immediately held the fire extinguisher and chanted each name of Soho. When she was going to do one more, the name of the martial artist appeared to rescue. The teacher hurriedly ran to the newspaper for protection. The other martial artist's name was thrown down by Si Eun. Si Eun immediately held the fire extinguisher up and then chanted one word to make the other name unconscious but not in time to say anything. The other martial artist's name came to control Si Eun, who was eaten in the stomach. Si Eun continued to use the fire extinguisher to hit this name, making him unconscious. Si Eun immediately came in front of the name Belm, Sook, and said, I told you to stop. We used to be very close. Si Eun grabbed the neck of the name Belm, Sook, and threw it down. You were going to make him stop for a while and ask why you did that. He immediately said, I don't know either. You have to understand me. Si Eun continued to shake her head after a fight. Thinking, Si Eun did not raise her hand again, and then stepped out. The lawyer and the principal were visiting the school, seeing Si Eun walking away. Then the two teachers ran to stop Si Eun. The boy immediately used the air gun to break the window and shouted loudly, what do you want? He burst into tears and continued to walk away in surprise of the whole group of people present. At school, Si Eun then went to the hospital to visit Soho and then sat on the chair. Suddenly, Soho woke up and asked, Are you sleepy? You're right to have crazy blood. Si Eun immediately said, I'm sorry for everything. Soho also said, I'm sorry. And that was just a dream of Si Eun. In fact, Soho was still unconscious and did not know when to wake up. A while later, the name of Biem Sukguk also came to the Philippines to study abroad and did not clearly live and die. After that, the girl felt that she was the cause of everything, so she quietly left. Not to be confused with Si Eun, the lawyer intended to let Si Eun go to the nursing home, but Si Eun sent him to watch the video. Biem Sukguk beat Soho cruelly and brutally, so he agreed to let Si Eun go. But with his power, he made all the schools in Seoul not accept Si Eun to school. There is only one school in the remote province of Heelan, 
which accepted Si Yun to enroll. His parents now drive Si Yun to school at the new school. His parents want to take Si Yun inside, but his son says he can go alone. And his father told Si Yun that he did a good job. I didn't do anything wrong anyway, he said, still very proud of Si Yun. The new class of Si Yun is no different from a small area with full of the first components of the school. The teacher introduced Si Yun to introduce to you, then asked Si Yun to introduce herself. He also said through the speaker to finish the procedure to accept the class. Si Yun then sat down at the desk, a name of the first class in the class came to greet. Seeing Si Yun still holding the sword like a strong stone in the classroom, then said Si Yun's words. The boy immediately looked straight at his face. This name, Lin Hung Hatch did not know who the owner of this forest was, then threw all the books of Si Yun down. You were chosen to be my slave, he said. Si Yun Lin Bao who did not hold the dog thought he was the owner of the forest. You thought doing that was very old, huh? Then Si Yun held a pen in her hand and looked at Cham Cham in the face holding the tiger's head, reporting. With the eyes of the bullets, there was a stranger who reported to a person who was full of his heart to see the image of the student who had just transferred, and said that he had defeated a member of our association. Now what should we do with it? This part is over. Thank you for supporting me over the past time. I wish you all good health to support my team. See you in the next part. Goodbye and see you again. Today's episode is over. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and see you again.